Hi, this is Chef John, and today we are playing with flowers. Those beautiful, colorful petals are actually nasturtium. Now, for those of you that don't know, nasturtium is actually kind of a ground cover, uh, really pretty flower in my opinion. Some people consider them weeds, but what they're great for, see that corner of my garden? It's kind of junky. It's where I like throw the dead sticks and leaves, and everyone's got a corner of their garden. This is a great plant for that because it just kind of covers covers it and grows on top of it and the flowers are so beautiful they really range uh, from yellow to gold to orange to blood red um, so I got a kind of a variety there so I picked a few and what we're gonna do is we're gonna rinse those off because they can have little bugs in them and if you're gonna serve this beautiful salad to your you know significant other uh, little bugs crawling around is gonna be kind of a mood wrecker if you're not gonna use these right away here's a tip what you want to do is you want to gather them up see how I cut Get left a little stem on there. Wrap them up in a damp paper towel, almost like you're making a little, what is that, a boutonniere, a bouquet? What are those things we had for the prom? I forget the term. Corsage. Man, that was a long time ago. And you're going to put your little corsage with the damp paper towel in a Ziploc bag, and that'll keep like for a day. So if you had to prep these ahead of time, now I don't even know why I showed you that. Just pick them when you need them. By the way, these are probably growing somewhere in, in the neighborhood. You didn't even know it. By the way, very important, if you're doing this for a lover, you have to do this test. She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. Uh-oh. Oh, she loves me. Whew. See, I thought so. But anyway, you, that's traditional. So those pass the test. We are now on to our salad. And here is our mixed green salad. It's not terrible. It's just kind of boring. There's nothing wrong with that. Don't feel bad. But for that special romantic dinner, you know what I'm saying? For that special romantic occasion. I know Valentine's Day is a long time ago, but any time is a good time for this kind of thing. You're going to sprinkle some of those petals over your plain old boring mixed green salad. And you might be thinking, well, sir, it's pretty, but they probably taste like flowers. No, they have a delicious peppery, they taste like lettuce. All right, if you, if you like watercress, all right, it, it'll remind you of that. It has a very subtle peppery flavor, very mild. It's not floral. It's not perfumey. Uh, there's nothing to be afraid of. In fact, if you were blindfolded, uh, you wouldn't know there was nasturtiums on here. So it's 90% for the amazingly beautiful color. But, hey, why not? At the same time, we're getting a, a little bit of flavor, some extra nutrients. You know that stuff's got some amazing nutrients in it. By the way, if you're not sure what flowers you're picking, be really careful. You don't want to poison someone. So if you're not sure, um, have your roommate test it first, and then you'll know. Uh, onto the salad. There we go. Really pretty, except for my you know horrible editing and out-of-focus shots. But you get the idea. Really, really nice. Uh, real simple demo today. Uh, I know those are in your neighborhood. Your neighbors got them. They're at the farmer's market. Even supermarkets sell them. You could grow them yourself. So easy. And they're so beautiful, it inspired me to paint this watercolor. This is Chef John's Still Life with nasturtium so you guys didn't know i was such a good painter did you anyway uh go find some nasturtiums and as always enjoy